Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a little bit busier day. I actually locked myself out of my little um, savings account or checking account that I have. Yesterday I tried to get in it and I couldn't remember because I hadn't, I had never looked at it. I wanted to look at my statement because when I had, oh, did I say where I was from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm from Western New York, in case I forgot. But um, I wanted to look at my statement, and because I hadn't done it in a long time, I forgot what my username was, I forgot what my password was, so I get locked out. So today I went to the bank to have them unlock it. I get to the bank door, ready to ring their little bell, because they have a little bell now that you have to ring before you can go in. And, I, and she says, um, the door is locked again, we not we're not letting anybody in. And I go, we're not. And she goes, yeah, there was a case. And so the village is closed up again because there was one case that was apparently reported. So now we're back to talking through the glass of the door and putting things through the letter box, letter slot. But they did give me the password to unlock my account. So I was able to get my statement, which I put on the folder that has my statements so that when I do it again, maybe in a year from now, I will be able to see what it, what it has because that's how long it was probably since the last time I tried. I also watched, um, yesterday I watched Pamela's Adoring Crochet and she showed me her egg cooker, which I had never seen that type of egg cooker. And then today I'm watching Deb's Way and Deb has the same egg cooker only today she was making an omelet instead of uh, hard-boiled eggs. I had never in my life seen these devices, but they really do work really good. And I liked the fact that the egg cooker for the hard-boiled egg, it actually puts a hole in the top. You know, I was trying to think, how did I figure out that there was supposed to be a hole in the egg? And then I remember when my father used to put cook the eggs that we had because we had chickens and so there was always fresh eggs and he was always taking the paring knife and there's on the paring knife just before the handle there's like a little little notch thing and he would tap the egg with that and make a little hole we used to do that too but not for a boiled egg we used to put a little hole on that side then flip it over and put a little hole on the other side and then we used to suck the egg I don't know if you've ever had a, a raw egg or not but the yolk part was really tasty, but it was the white part that was, ugh, I didn't like that. The only reason I didn't like the white part was because it was kind of slimy. Mm -hmm. But the yolk was always really good. And when I was in the hospital, they talked, they um, wanted to know what we wanted for breakfast. And I said, I'd like a dipping egg. And the lady, the nurse was a little confused. And I says, I just want a three minute egg, but make it four minutes because you might undercook it, and I don't want it undercooked. So they made, gave me a hard boiled, well, it was a soft boiled egg, but it was a three minute egg. And what you do is you would um, drop the egg in the water and hope it didn't break. And you boil it for just the three to four minutes, depending on the size of the egg. And it was a large egg, so four minutes was good. And then you cut your toast up into strips, and then you open it on the air pocket end, and you take a little bit of the white off and you dip your toast in it and that's called a dipping egg. And the girl that was in the room with me when I had the baby was watching me intently because she had never in her life seen anybody eat an egg that way. Where well, we always did. And in fact, we had shot glasses when we were younger that we used to put the egg in a shot glass. A lot of people have the egg holder for the soft boiled egg. We didn't have an egg holder so we used the shot glass and that works perfectly. I'm going to put a little video in because I told Jane yesterday that Jim's working on my sign. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of that today. I'll see my homemade stir. He made a stir because the paint is really old. That's pretty nifty. It's a nail. Jim's been working on the letters for my sign. I should have put them probably in wax paper because I know they're stuck. Uh, have, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to peel them all loose. You'll have to peel them loose. Oh well, that's okay. And then this is the one side of the sign, but the other side has got the 
paint on. He's going to have to do the other side yet. Oh, these are beautiful dowels. Where did you get these? Hmm. McDonald's. These came from McDonald's, too? Yep. Wow, we got a lot of nice wood from them. Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay, well, back to work. Back to work. <laughs> now, what is the reason for this bed of nails? <laughs> well, you can put... Uh, pieces that you've painted on top and they won't stick to anything because they're supported by the the points of the nails. It's like the potato chip machine. <laughs> Probably. Of. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of. Like they're if you like ever look old, at those. Uh, bed of nails that yeah. the guys Put used pressure to on and you can walk on it probably? Hmm? Yeah, Who knows? If you, I don't want to try it. I don't want to try it either but you could lay on it if you could get that layer lowered evenly. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, ouch, ouch, ouch. This is pretty nifty. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for showing me. Yep. Now you go to work again. Now I go to work again. Remember the letters were stuck to the newspaper? Well, this is what the bed of nails was for, so that he can put the painted letters on the board, and this way they won't stick. And for those of you that want a little closer look at the tool that he made, this is the tool. It's just a nail that he made to, it's connected to his drill to stir the paint in this little, this little can, because it was pretty old, but it worked like a dream. Well, my sign is getting there. Pretty soon I will be able to put it out and those that want to buy eggs from me can buy eggs and I had him put the price right on that board because a lot of people are selling the eggs for two dollars a dozen and the lady that buys them for me she pays three dollars a dozen and right now at the store eggs are 97 cents a, a dozen and if that's what they want to pay then I guess you go to the store but if you want my eggs they're going to be three dollars a dozen for whoever wants them and if I don't sell to, my neighbors will still get some eggs most likely because I always just give it to them anyways. They always offer to buy them and I always tell them no. I just give them to them because that's what you do with neighbors. You share. That's my video for today. I hope you all had a great day and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.